Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine, or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows? Maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic rides. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness. Pull up a seat and kick back as Tim the Milkman sits down with Rick and Terry Osborne from Appomattox, Virginia. They are the proud owners of one of the baddest gassers on the nostalgic circuit today, the 38 Special. Hey, I'm sitting here with the owner and operator of the 38 Special. Man, dude, you broke the truck. We can't watch it pay and make a pass. What did he do to it, Terry? Well, you put new slicks on it, made a pass, it went good. Yeah. Always got to rough them up before you can make a real good pass. Okay. So second time around, he took off and it hooked hard. And it went straight up in the air and I'm thinking, boys, this is going to be a good pass. It's going up in the sky and it just shut right off. And at that time, I didn't quite know exactly what was going on. No oil came out, oh. pan looked good. Yeah. So we got it back and we did a little tinkering and uh, it don't look that bad. So, but I, I think we can get it fixed and make it back to the next race next week in at Greer. Yeah. And uh, ask Rick, he'd get a little bit more detailed on okay. the issues that happened when we started taking it apart. Yes, ma'am. So, well, you know for a fact the 38 special is never done, Rick. Never. <laughs> Rick, Rick, what do you got to do to it, man? Well, I got to get it home. I, I, I'm almost positive at this point right now it sheared all the bolts off the front of the cam, yeah. and I have a front drive pump. So as soon as it sheared them off, the fuel stopped moving, leaned the motor out, and that's what made that pop sound. But everything inside the motor appears to be okay, maybe short of a few vent uh, valves in it because it went out of time. Okay. But there, it doesn't seem like there's no hard parts broke. So we got our fingers crossed and we'll get it home tomorrow, yeah. have it apart, and hope to God we'll have it done for next weekend at Greer. All right, well, maybe later we can catch up to them and shoot a film of this baby making a good pass, man. I know that this is a crowd pleaser. The 38 Special always pulls the wheels off the ground. People love it, man. It's, it's you know, it's taking social media by storm, actually. I mean, this, the 38 Special, you know, there's only one, man. That's such a cool truck. H how long did it take to build the truck? Well, we're still building it, and I've had it for uh, 21 years now. 21 years? Yeah, we, drove, we drove it on a street. For about 13 years yeah. and then we went to a drag race one weekend where the, the nostalgia stuff was just starting yeah. and uh, i haven't been able to stop since it's yeah. just a ball that was it it that got in your just, blood that day and that's it said, and make, what god, what god yeah. wants me yeah. to do yeah. all right so you ain't got no problem following him to the track every weekend no. right no. no listen i have a uh 32 three window high boy okay. that uh is a street car and uh so i got my own you okay. know toys to play with but this is fun. I mean, we, we've always done this as a family. Yeah. We have a son and a daughter, and they've always gone with us okay. from car show to car show. And that's how we ended up, well, we first had the truck mm -hmm. and when it was a street ride. And all of us would fit in that truck. It had a bench seat, three across, and my son on my lap. And we would drive for six, seven hours yeah. going, to, yeah. going to the hot rod and, shows. And there ain't much room in that cab no, for three not. people. No. <laughs> that's a small cab, isn't it? Yeah. And that's one reason it makes a good hot rod, man, because it's, you know, it's kind of narrow, aerodynamic for a truck, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, everything with it worked out perfect. Yeah. Um, because I, I can't take credit for being good. I can take credit for being lucky. <laughs> because everything we did on a truck just worked yeah. and like I said my, my wife has been one of the, my biggest supporters through the whole deal and uh, and my kids mm -hmm. and it's just been a uh, I can't even begin to tell you how much fun we're having well, on average what kind of time does it get well it'll I leave the line the same way every time it'll go up in the air hit the wheelie bars pick the slicks up yeah and it'll still run like a 1064 1060 okay. and a quarter mile yeah 
doing all that. So if I got it kept it down on the ground, it would probably be in a very low tens, but nobody would remember that. Yeah. yeah. You know, they remember it, what it does. <laughs> I, I even, some of the tracks I've been at where I've had a buy run, uh -huh. at the end of the track, they'll go to me, what the heck did you make a pass like that for on a buy run? I tell them it's the only way I know how to drive it. <laughs> so You only know one way to launch one it. Way. Yeah. That's yeah. It. All right, cool. <laughs> Now, for a power plant, how big is it? Actually, it's a 383, okay. and it's a 350 GM block. There's nothing high-tech. It's got a scat rotating assembly in it, yeah. and it just, uh, like I said, it, we're very lucky it works. The, the best part, what really gives a lot of low-end uh, torque is that injection system I have. When you hit the throttle now and it squirts the fuel on the back of the intake valve, there's no better way to get the fuel in the motor. So it, it really brings it alive when you come off the line. Right. And that's what turns the big tires over. That's what launches this thing into the air. And, and I understand you broke your wheelie bar, so now you got new ones on it, right? These, these, things, look, these things look heavy duty, man, and yep. you need them. Yep. Inch oh, and yeah. Quarter, inch and a quarter, all chrome molly, so, uh, and, and braced everywhere. Yeah. So it ought to be fine. It yeah. ought to be right. excellent. And, okay, for chassis, is that the original? Stock, stock chassis, I boxed it. Yeah. But it's a it's stock chassis. It's a all metal body. It's got glass fenders on it, mm -hmm. um, and it's really there, there's nothing in it, electronic, no computers. I leave on a foot brake mm -hmm. at 2,400 RPMs. I hold the foot brake, <laughs> and when them lights go down, I just mash it. Wow, okay. <laughs> so so it, it's it's well no no delay box, no stutter box. Yes, sir. We do everything they did when Elvis was here. Yeah, That's right. how we do it. Nostalgia of drag racing. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, yeah, man. And for the rear end and transmission, what are you running? It's got a turbo uh, 400, okay. and I got a 9-inch Ford rear in it with a spool. And, and that's it. It's right. just, it's 100% it's fun. And, and it works, man. It works. Thank God, I'm telling you. What a crowd pleaser. And you got to love the people involved, man. Uh, this is great. We meet so many good people. Yeah. It is unbelievable, and, it, and it's, it's a large family. Yeah. It really is a very yeah. large family. We have been very fortunate to meet some wonderful people and uh, be involved with some great, great things. All right. yeah, we really enjoy it. We're, we're, we're enjoying the trip. We're That's enjoying cool. the ride. That's why we don't yeah. get upset when something like this happens. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this, this is just minor. Uh, we're, we're still here supporting our other friends that are racing mm -hmm. and, and enjoying it. You know. There's nothing better than being a track for today. That's what it's all about, folks. Absolutely. Having fun, man.